All right, we look down to the start, and there is Chad Reed. Now, I'll tell you, that outside line has been working very good for him. We did say the outside of the box is the place to be off this start. The 30-second board is sideways already. We are ready to go for race number three. Gates go down. Who's going to get the jump? Another great one by Reardon and Reed. Chad Reed on the outside comes through, and he is rocketing out of the gate on the Kawasaki. Two whole shots in a row. What a start by Reed. He's Daniel really Reardon, worked on Reardon it. Reardon in second place, and it looks to be McCoy back there in third. And there was Marmite also making a pass on uh, was uh, Reardon, no sorry, it was Michael Byrne and right back behind all of them was Moss, he sits back at about fifth last, oh one rider just having a big moment there, there is Reedy in the lead in front of Daniel Reardon McCoy is in third place, great start by him, Anderson too having a good one well this is Daniel Reardon's chance to shine on the Honda machine, he needs to try to throw a hook under the back of Chad Reed. maybe he can try to pick up some lines, do something no one has really had a chance to see what Chad Reed's doing, he's just checking out he is just checking out, exactly what he wants to do now this is a much more calculated oh, a rider, ride a rider has gone down that, was that Troy Carroll or Mackie just there in front of him as they Robbie, Robbie Marshall, oh, Robbie Marshall, I believe. Yeah, that's a weird place to be lying. It almost looks like he's come from the other way and lying on top of the jump. As we see Daniel Reardon, now this is a much better ride. As we said, expect to see him up in this position all the time. There is our There's Dan Robbie rider. Marshall, our yeah. North Star Yamaha Titan Garage's rider. And let's go down to Gary Reed. You got something special for us? Boys, boys, we're down here in the pit area. Of course, you got the boards here. Craig Anderson now. Everyone else is riding. Go harder. You're coming last, whatever. Ando, it's all about showing a bit of love down here, boys. This is how the mechanics communicate during the race with their riders, and I didn't want to tell him he was in fifth. I didn't tell him I loved him. We're just on the glass. Oh, whoa, there is Matt Moss on the ground. Matt Moss with and Jay Marmont. Marmont. Wow. Man, these guys have come together. It was off camera. We didn't see what happened. Hopefully we can see a replay, but Matt Moss, and he cannot start his bike. Ow, that's not good for him at all. It's definitely not where he wanted to be. Chad Reed is uh, is just... This is a lonely ride for Chad Reed, isn't it? Still walk in the park. It's going to be a great race as he just puts a lap down on Matt Moss. Now, the hype was about Matt Moss all night long. This is the guy that's going to be absolutely blitzing the field. Well, unfortunately, it hasn't turned out that way for him. It has been a night he'd rather forget. He's really gone through the last lap board uh, quite a while ago. Just over half a lap to go for him to string three out of three. Yeah, and Michael Burns and also in that equation as well. So a great little battle for these guys, but it's only half a lap now for Chad Reed on the Monster Kawasaki. And we see on the top of the screen right now, fourth placing, scrolls across, that's Ty Simmons, so he will continue to score terrific points here. Yellow, yellow flags around. That's Whoa. Matt Hayworth, number 24 on the Yamaha, but one corner to go for Chad Reed, and victorious in heat three of the quad challenge. It's it feels like we only just ended that last race. The heart rates are up, they would have had a sip of the drink there, five second board side. Sideways. Final race in the quad challenge in the Super X class. Chad Reed blew the start. Someone that didn't was Daniel Reardon. Have a look at the Woodstock Thor Honda at the head of the pack. And Simmons ran Reed very high indeed. There's a few bikes. Oh, there's McCoy off the side of the track as well. But talk about coming out smelling like roses. Oh. Chad Reed come out in third place. What smoke coming off uh, yeah. at Michael Burns' yeah. bike. I, wow. That was, I think that's some steam right there between Taylor and that. Maybe coming together put the, could have possibly done some damage to the radiator. Well, that's for sure. Let's hope it doesn't spit out all the coolant or that could be disastrous for the engine. That's for sure. But as we see on screen at the moment, first place, Daniel Reardon and already, whoa, Reed. the left of the screen, major mistake from Chad Reed. Major mistake. Now, Simmons was running out wide, just wanted to let him go. Simmons just wants a decent result for this race as we see our riders coming down to uh, the, the double triple there is Chad Reed still sitting in second with Simmons behind him well boys unlucky down here Jay Marmon and Troy Carroll have gone down after the finish line jump we're slowing the guys down the race safe medical crew there Jay's on his hands and knees Troy Carroll is down at the moment he is conscious Gary, we're going to we, have to catch you up. We, Sorry, we've got to change for the lead right now. Well, a, a battle at least. There is Daniel Reed and Chad Reed is right there on the back wheel. Now, Chad Reed won't do anything silly here, that's for sure, but I can guarantee you he wants his victory. Well, he doesn't. Well, the there, pass. There's, from what I could see, that looked like it was before the yellow flags, yes. but obviously Daniel Reed would have been slowing down for that. 
That's, that's going to be a tough one. But anyway, Chad Reed has moved into the lead. Daniel Rin still sits in second. And a good ride still by Simmons. Mossy back there in fourth place. Yeah, and now clear, so two laps to go. And he's starting to really entice Simmons. Just Whoa. a little bit there, we have him. And that's the jump that we saw Chad Reed doing earlier. Came up short, but still managed to make the pass on Simmons. Well, you know what? Simmons has had a great night. He's had some good results. I know he's just going to be thinking, I'm going to make it through tonight, and that is it. I don't want to get involved in any silly antics. My knee is absolutely killing me right now. You can have it if you want to do that. Now, Daniel. Gary, we're going to go down to you. Just a quick update, boys. Both TC and Jay Marmont, they're both standing up with each other. The wind has absolutely been pummeled and out of them, but they are both standing up. They're both conscious. Now, that's what I was just mentioning before. I don't want to go on about it too much, but Jay Marmont, the roller coaster ride has been on the last few weeks. Down, up, down, and it continues. It, just hoping for a bit of stability. I cannot imagine how tough it must be for him at the moment. Yeah, it's a hard race, that is for sure. Now, Chad Reed, one lap to go. Well, sorry, only a few turns to go. He is on the final lap just taking it easy right now. Mossy can sniff a victory, but it is all too late. Chad Reed will come away with a victory. There is Mossy in second place. A good ride by Moss to come through. Third place across was Daniel Reardon, and there was Ty Simmons in fourth. Now, Ty Simmons.